After being away for a month, we were excited to get to our land. We had scored some furniture and rugs at local garage sales and we couldn't wait to get them into our yurt to start making it feel homier. In today's episode, you'll get to see us put our pellet stove into our yurt and we will start building the hearth for the stove. If you'd like to support our channel, be sure to like this episode and hit the subscribe button. All right, we're on our way up to our property. We are about 30 minutes away. We had to stop at Home Depot and there was some bad traffic this time. Tomorrow though, we do have all the stuff to build the mantle for our pellet stove. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. So we've got plenty to do. We're up at our property. We haven't been up here for a month and we have so much to do. So much. We, today, we made a list and I think the rule of thumb is that you're supposed to put three things on your to-do list today and we have like 10. Nine or 10, yeah. Yeah, so we are up here to install our pellet stove. Our pellet stove has a name and it is Manuel. And why is that its name? Do you remember how it got its name? Uh, there, so there was the the note on top that said manual inside. But it was misspelled <laughs> and it said Manuel inside. And we had some friends helping us at the time and they said, oh my gosh, we got a free Manuel, he's inside. So it became a joke. So but now Manuel it is, now it's his name. So we're up here to install Manuel. Today we're gonna make the hearth for him. I called it a mantle earlier, but we're gonna make the hearth for Manuel. Then tomorrow we'll actually put it, get to put him on his spot. Yep. But today we have to move him from over, like by our trampoline, which it really isn't that far, and then come over this way so we get to use the cool tractor forklift things. And then there's like 80,000 other things we're gonna do, but they're like, we have little odd jobs that we just need to get done since we haven't been up here for a while. So let's do it. Okay, we have to get our, for we have these forklift things that hook onto our tractor and we have to grab them, but we're having a mouse issue for sure. And our dog Lily found it last night. Um, they're burrowing under all of our extra wood and there's cardboard wrapped around some of the wood still from the yurt and they have totally made a, a nest. So it's a little bit of a problem that we get to deal with. I do worry about our tractors. Um, them going in there and kind of chewing apart pieces. So it's a huge battle. If any of you have things that you do for mice, obviously we put up um, decon when we're not here, but just little things to help keep them away from our area. I would love to hear that. This is Manuel. I'm gonna get them all unwrapped. Ryan has the forklift things on and we're gonna get them in the yurt. Don't have a name for our yurt yet. We're tossing around ideas. Got an idea? I think it's a girl. A pellet stove is not traditional in something that is off-grid because it does take electricity to keep the little pellets dropping in. So more traditionally, it would be a wood firing stove, but we went with this option because we believe that once we have our solar all set up, we'll have enough electricity running to make it all um, powered enough to 
run the pellet stove. And we have done a little bit of research and with the pellet stove, you don't have to worry about it at nighttime. So if somebody's staying in the yurt and it's really cold, it'll just keep feeding itself all night long. And if our solar is up to par, it will totally work for us. And we do have electrical on our land, but we are making our yurt off grid so we don't have to coat it at all. All right guys, we're loading up Manuel to go into the yurt. So we've outfitted the tractor, um, put a couple of pieces of board and a brace on there. We're gonna strap him down with a ratchet strap and he's gonna just go right in. So let's see how it goes. Ryan. Hey. Are you ready to go do some work? Yeah. Let's do this. Woo! Okay, so today's plan is to do the hearth. We didn't get to that yesterday because moving the pellet stove took a lot more brain power than we thought it was going to. Um, just making sure we got it in there safely and everything. So we're going to learn how to grout today because we've never done that. And we're going to learn how to lay tile. Have you ever laid tile? Nope. I haven't either, but I've seen some people do it before. <laughs> we'll probably be good at it. Trust and I gave you everything that you need. That you need. But you only told me lies and you made me realize it. 
Okay, so we have laid the uh, the tile, and we laid it down in a mock of how it's going to be before we set it. And it's a good thing we did because we actually got it done the first time and realized it wasn't centered between two of our posts. So we recentered it, re got it all set up, and now we're going to let's see if I can tilt this so you can actually see Ryan behind me. There we go. And now we're going to kind of go through and do like a lift up each tile glue it down and then lift up the tile glue it down until we've got all of them done and then we can't grout them until tomorrow so that's kind of all we'll get to do on this today Gonna hit the ground running, baby, I'm running, baby, I'm running, 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 running. Okay, so we are done getting it all glued down and we are going to let it set. It has to set for 24 to 48 hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it has to set a while, a little bit longer than we thought, so we won't get Manuel into his place on this trip. But we are done with this portion of the project, so we're gonna clean up inside the yurt, go eat some lunch, and then move on to doing some work on our outhouse. <laughs> 